Good morning and welcome to our Tuesday morning Bible study. As is the tradition, I am taking the Old Testament text, piece of it at least, for our Bible study. It comes from Zephaniah chapter 1, verse 7. Be silent before the Lord, for the day of the Lord is near. The Lord has prepared a sacrifice and consecrated his guests. Uh, it's a famous uh, statement that Benjamin Franklin made that everyone knows and I heard, and I've heard it even in my own family, is guests are like fish. After three days, they start to stink. There's a Swahili phrase I actually like a little bit better. It says, treat a man like a guest for two days, but on the third day, give him a hoe. The idea of time to work the farm. And I think that this idea that what does it mean to be a guest of God in this text in particular? Because that's you and I, the Christian. And in this text, it actually goes on and on, talks about how God starts punishing those who aren't his guests. So he says in our text, he has a sacrifice prepared. For us Christians, when we read those texts, it should jog in our mind that the sacrifice is ultimately his son, our Lord Jesus. On the cross, he was sacrificed so that we would know salvation and forgiveness and love and be his guests, his children, his children his people, as it were. And also in our text afterwards, I like this idea that he consecrates his guests. Uh, again, in theology, we talk about the blood of Christ consecrates his people. And consecration means to make holy, to make his people holy. We as Christian are, Christians are holy people. And that's important. Because in the midst of the 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 judgment to come for us who are his guests, who have been consecrated by the blood of the Lamb, we don't have anything to worry about. We have what's going on with the others is, in a lot of ways, especially when it comes to judgment, not our business. Now, I have to admit, I've never watched the TV series uh, Downton Abbey, and it was very popular, but I'm a bit of an Anglophile. I, know what England's like or was like, especially during the time of, um, you know, uh, Edwardian years, Victorian years, where you have uh, people who are wealthy, and then you had the people who were working in the house who were not part of it. And I always wondered, it would be very strange to go back in time and to sit there as a guest, maybe, at the house, and after dinner, sitting around, enjoying a glass of port or whatever, and talking about the kingdom, who knows, and seeing... Um, the workers, maybe they make a mistake or something and they're being disciplined in front of you, how how uncomfortable that would be. And yet at the same time, I'd think as you'd watch it, it really doesn't have anything to do with you. The owner of the house can't discipline the guests or be upset with the guest. He's You're the guest. Um, I like this idea in a way that to pull forth that God has called us to be his guests. Uh, and though even discipline comes and even judgment comes, those are not our concerns. Uh, ours is we are his guests. And that's a wonderful thing. I hope uh, during this time that you uh, see the joy of being a guest of God, uh, being consecrated and being made holy by the blood of the Lamb. One other note before we pray. Uh, I said this Sunday morning at the announcements, and I'll say it now, too. Uh, we live in a very difficult time in the United States, though I think it is getting better already. I can feel it, at least. Though some people are upset, and I'm talking about politics. Um, my advice is this. Love your neighbor. And I don't mean love the neighbor that had the placard on the yard that you liked. I mean, love your neighbor. Go back to your catechism and the 7th and 8th and ninth and 10th commandments. Excuse me, 8, 9, and 10. Excuse me, not 7. Uh, 8, 9, and 10. <clears throat> See how we are to act and treat our neighbor. Our Lord doesn't tell us to treat those who agree with us, who are Christian or who whatever that way, but everybody. Even in a text I read just the other night with our confirmands, uh, Jesus tells us that even the pagans love their own. But we will be marked by those who love those who are different than us. So, love your neighbor. Let us pray. 
Dear Lord, we thank you that you have consecrated us through the blood of Christ, that you've made us your guests, your children, your people. Uh, Lord, help us to rely on you, to know that you have cared for us and that you have made us your holy people. Also protect us from this pandemic and keep us safe. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. God's blessings on your day.